You have a voice in this world, I believe, about how to tell sad stories. I've lost interest in the world of fighting any longer. My room is so quiet and empty, and it hurts. There are wounds that never show on the body that are deeper and more hurtful than anything that bleeds. I have lost my senses of all self. I've lost my reason for living, but you know that I can't quit. Yes, baby girl. Let's go now. Uh, no. Your school gate is right over there. I have an appointment to catch, okay? If you say so, Dad. I say so. Okay? Now, oh, be a good girl in class. I've always been a good girl, Dad. Daddy loves you, okay? I love you too. Take care. Take care. <laughs> Bye. I spoke with Gabriel Adoke. And he said you are one of the best attorney he has ever worked with. I know Gabriel. Praise doesn't come so easily with him. We had a good working relationship. He runs the firm very well. Okay. 
Tell me, what do you consider your strengths, your professional strengths? Um, I don't believe in improvisation. I prepare my case rigorously. I am on top of my clients. I handle them very well. I try to protect them from themselves. I prefer to work on a project by myself, though I work very well with a team if need be. I notice you move, move around several times. I go wherever the job takes me, sir. Mrs. Osibo, right? Asibo. Asibo. Yes. Um, your resume is exceptional. I think you'll be an asset to us. Thank you very much, sir. I would not disappoint you. Are you married? I have um, divorced. I have a kid, though. Bella, I've noticed that your mother doesn't come early to pick you. And why is that? What do you expect from a working class woman who is always trying to climb up the ladders and leaves? Really? What's her profession, if I may ask? She's a high profile lawyer. Wow, you must be proud of her. Yeah, just that. Her job is kind of an issue for me. Why? She doesn't have time for me. From work to bed, from bed to work, from work to breakfast table, from breakfast table to bed again. She doesn't spend quality time with me. Don't you think that communication is key? Try and talk to her, she may see the reasons with you. Why even have that luxury? I've tried every tantrum I could, but yet I failed. I was lonely during most of my childhood days. What of your father? He is not together with my mom anymore. He now lives in Abiekuta and got married to a new wife and has a son. <sighs> so sorry about that. Hope you don't feel sad. As a human being, I do. Maybe sometimes, but you know, I only that fatherly love. That love, but there's no one around to show it to me. So I guess I'll just move on. You know, life happens. Can I call you on phone maybe sometime? Why not? I'll give my mom's second number. Okay. Dad, good afternoon. Hey. Give me a hug. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's 
so how is work? Work is good. Work is good. I know. I can no longer handle the lies. It's hurting me deeper than you'll ever know. I'm at the point where every answer. Mom, I'm ready for church. Oh, baby, sorry. I have a very important meeting with some clients. Church has to wait, okay? Next Sunday we'll go. Even on Sundays. Mom, you see, I don't like when you do this. Please. We are supposed to be on our way to church. Please. I have to go to this meeting. It is very important. Okay? Don't worry. We'll go next Sunday. You see, Mom, I feel so worthless and unlivable whenever I do this. It seems that things concerning me don't matter to you. Hey, 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 young lady, mind your choice of words. I am still your mother. Then behave like one. A daughter is a little girl who grows up to be your best friend. A mother and a daughter share a special bond together which is engraved in their hearts. But you and I, Reverses the case. When last did it ask at my school grades? When last did it take him out like other moms do? All you ever talk about is work, work, work. You know what? This is not my mother standing in front of me. If you're coming back, please get my mother. Hey, young lady! Bella Sibo! So Karen, what do you want to be after school? Like, what profession? Well, I would like to become a doctor. I love music, but saving lives is the most important thing I can concentrate on without getting distracted. Really? Yes, I would love to help the sick and vulnerable people. So, you're trying to say that the only reason you're into medicine is your burning desire to help the needy. Yes. So, what about your financial security and stability? It's important too, but it's secondary. I like your spirit. Thank you, Bella. You know you inspire me a lot. That's what friends do. Guess what? What? I have a surprise for you for this week. And I know you won't remember. What surprise? Don't worry, you will see. Okay. Oh, oh, yep. Dad! Hey, baby girl. Good morning. How are you doing? What's happening? Are you a cake distributor now? <laughs> no. Aren't you forgetting something? Something like what? Something like a very memorable day in your life. <laughs> it's my birthday! <laughs> I love you, Dad. Oh, I love you too, baby girl. You know, your birthday always brings joy to me. Right? It brings back happy memories and it's a reminder of how much joy you give me. And you will always be my little for me sunshine. I love you. I love you, Dad. Let <laughs> uh, me go and call Bella. And... <laughs> okay. Uh. Hey. Hey. Mm. Hey. I feel so helpless, I feel so guilty. How do I explain this to her? Huh? How do I explain this to her or anyone who cares to listen? I know she's stronger than the pain she feels, but for how long? I can't watch her go on like this. I can't. Oh God, come to my aid, please. This is definitely beyond me.
Why the long face? Why is your face like that? I'm trying to reach my friend to send me her address. Who is your friend? Her name is Karen. She's my new friend. And today is her birthday. So I'm trying to call her to wish her a happy birthday and celebrate with her. But she's not picking my calls. Hmm. Maybe she doesn't want you around. Mm. Not my friend, Karen. I feel something is wrong. Something like what? I don't know. My mouth told me so. Whatever. Um, I am going to the mall. Bella, mm. are you listening to me? Yes. I am going to the mall. Stay at home. When I come back, we'll talk about your friend. Come and lock the door. Did you hear me? Please, why don't you just take your drugs so you can sleep? It's getting late, huh? Dad. Yes, dear. Why do I keep taking these drugs every time? And why do I keep passing out all the time? What is wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you, dear. Don't say that, okay? There's nothing wrong with you. You're perfectly fine. You're healthy. Then, why did I find myself in the hospital today? Because you overstressed yourself, baby. You overstressed yourself and you passed out. That's what happened. Does it mean I overstress myself all the time? Because I always go to the hospital. Every now and then. Don't think about it like that. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's okay. Yeah? Yes, Mom. She, uh, she had guess another crisis. I know. I love her so much and I don't want anything to happen to her. She just fell. And this one lasted several hours unlike the other ones. I try my best to make sure she's not stressed out, right? I try my best to make sure she drinks loads of water and... Yes, Mom. I honestly believe it's a necessary evil. Okay, Mom, I'll definitely be more careful next time. Okay, Mom. All right, bye. What 
am I so frail? Thank you for the books, Bella. Always know your price above rupees. You're welcome. And thank you, Karen. So what happened? I called all true and no one picked my calls. I wanted to come over and wish you a happy birthday. Bella, I was sick. Can you believe that? I was in a hospital bed on my birthday. Thick? How? You weren't thick. You were hale and hearty when last I saw you. Is there anything wrong with you? Bella, can I confide in you? Sure. That's what friends are for. I think I'm sick. I mean, I don't want, I don't know what is wrong with me. Speak no more. These words are heavy and totally unacceptable. Bella. I know what I'm saying. My father is not saying anything tangible about it. Bella. I'm frail. Why do you say so? I heard my father speaking to my grandmother that I had another crisis. Crisis? Yes. I've passed out in my home, church, passed out in my first day in school. That was the first day we met. I think I'm thrilled. Baby girl, you're still awake? Dad. Yeah? I can't sleep. Some wandering thoughts wouldn't let me sleep. What wandering thoughts? I have this feeling that something is wrong with me. No. <laughs> you said you love me, Dad. Yes. So why are you not telling me the truth? Sometimes, I feel weak. Sometimes, I pass out. What is wrong with me, Dad? Please, Dad, don't leave me in the dark. Tell me the truth. Um, there's nothing wrong with you. <clears throat> Baby girl, there's nothing wrong with you. Okay, you're perfectly fine. Dad. Are you lying to me? Listen, you know it's going to be very hard to convince the judge that he is testifying against you in a murder trial because you blew him off. Yes, if you don't know him that well, then how are you sure that he is capable of murder? Bella, not now. I'm busy. Can I 
Can I ask you a question? It's important. What could that be? What does it mean when someone has sickle cell anemia? Um, Oni, please let me call you back, okay? Thank you. How on earth do I justify my actions? How do I tell the world that I was carried away by love and lust and in turn I put an innocent and tender life in jeopardy? God, please, please, this is the time. I need you the most. I need you. Sickle cell anemia is an inherited form of anemia. It is a condition where the body is not producing enough healthy red blood cells to circulate oxygen all through the body. Um, situation of, like that occurs when a man who is AS, you know what genotype is? They've taught you that in school. It's commonly caused when a man with uh, genotype AS marries a woman with genotype AS. Of course, they give birth to a child with genotype SS, which leads to sickle cell anemia. And it's very, very bad. You know, these things don't happen anymore because people are becoming very aware of it. It's a grave mistake nobody wants to make anymore. Because a lot of kids have died from their parents' carelessness. Oh. Would I say foolishness? Wow. <sighs> you know, my first boyfriend was AS. Of course, I am AS. That's before I met your father. And uh, our genotype wasn't compatible, so we couldn't get married. You know, the worst thing that can happen to you is having a child with sickle cell anemia. Mm hmm drains the happiness from any marriage. So what's the need of getting married to someone when they appoint us to problems in the future? Hmm. This is so bad. Very bad. Really, really bad. Oh, hold on. Why are you asking me all these questions? Bella Asibo. No. No. Your friend Karen, she cannot die. She will not die. It's not her portion. She will not die. Father in the mighty name of Jesus, eternal king of ages, rock of rocks, I am that I am. Father Lord, Karen, she will not die prematurely, O Lord. Father Lord, you see in Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, that we shall ask and shall be given to us, O Lord. Father, I'm asking for this favor, O Lord. And I know you do it for me, O Lord. Father Lord, my best friend shall not die, O Lord. She will not die, O Lord. Father, because you better everything possible for us, O Lord. By the way, Karen, can I ask you a question? Okay. Why is your dad not together with your mom? Well, my dad told me they parted ways. Why? Irreconcilable differences. Okay. Is that all? Yes. I wanted to know what was actually wrong with you. Uh -huh. So I went surfing the nets and... And what? Karen, I think you have sickle cell disease. My mom took time to explain this to me. Are you kidding me? The same sickle cell disease they taught us in general science. Yeah. You need to confront your dad to tell the truth. So, 
does it mean I'm going to die? Look, you're not going to die. You're not going to die. You have your father. You have me. You have other loved ones who care about you. You're not going to die. You're not going to die. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Where's my daughter? Because I can't I can't find her. I can't find her too. Huh? And uh, I asked her mate, said they can't find her. What do you mean they can't find her? I thought you've come to pick us. Shut up! What do you mean? What do you mean you can't find my daughter? I'm sorry, sir. You're sorry for yourself! In fact, where is my daughter? I'm very sorry. Do not make me raise my voice. Where is my daughter? I'm very sorry. Sir. If anything happens to that girl, you will regret the day you were born. I promise you. I'm sorry, sir. Sorry for yourself. If you hey, stop saying sorry. Okay, stop saying sorry. Find my daughter. Why is your head? Idiot. Idiot. I'm sorry, sir. Stop. Hey. I Idiot. Let me not find her today. You regret the day you were born. Baby girl, baby girl. Oh, thank you. Mm. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. What's going on, babe? What's going on? See something. I'm a sickler. What do you mean you're... I have sickle cell disease. Babe, listen. Who... First of all, who told you that? Who told you that? And tell me, Dad. Who told you that you're a sickler? Please tell me. Who told you? No! What? What are you? Come on, just give me the knife. Please drop the knife. I'm so I also kill okay. myself. Okay, 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 okay. Just drop, cause you're you're a sickler, but I haven't stopped loving you, babe. I haven't stopped caring about you. Please, I'm begging you, drop the knife, please. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's true. How could you 
you, Dad? <laughs> Do you know the pains of being the only sick person in the class of 45? Why did you give that to me? Baby, don't say that. Please, don't say that. Why? Come on. Can you tell don't touch me! Get out of my room! Baby, please. I said get out! Just relax. Get out! Okay, okay, okay. Please don't try this again. Get out! Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yes, Karen. Put the blame on me. I'm a product of my past, but I can't be held prisoner for it. I was vulnerable. I was unguarded. I thought love was all that mattered, but I thought wrong. Now I know there's a calculated price for every deed, so you can put the blame on me. So many questions on my mind. I need some answers. Can you tell me I want to know? I can no longer handle the lies. It's hurting me deeper than you'll ever know. I'm at the point where every answer matters. Can you tell me I need to know? What's the point of living now When your dreams are gonna die Like a flower in the sun And the vapor in the wind Preparing for the end When you're barely getting started It's tearing me apart This is from a broken heart Why am I here to begin with? Where do I come from? And where to from here? Why, Mom? I thought you people brought me out with love. Why is this love becoming a curse? Why should an innocent girl like me be the only person to bear the bond of your carelessness? How do I save lives when mine needs saving? How do I save lives when I can't even save mine? I wish I could borrow a life. Maybe just then I might feel alright. So many questions on my mind. I some answers. Can you tell me? I want to know. I can no longer handle the lies. It's hurting me deeper. Oh, yeah. So you say you want to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. Really? Why? Because you told me you wanted to major in music. Well, Dad, music is like a soul food to me. Mm. It's relaxing. It takes me to a whole new world. But saving lives, Dad, that yeah. is the only thing I can concentrate on without getting distracted. Really? Yes, Dad. I would like my name to be heard alongside great people like Adade. Adade Vaughan. Yes. And what's that name? What's that name? Elizabeth uh, Adembibola. Adembibola? Yes. Wow. <laughs> That's impressive. Impressive. Yes, yeah, definitely impressive. Hmm? Thank Look you. Look at my baby. <laughs> wow. So no more music. It's now medicine, huh? Uh-huh. 
Yeah. Okay. Dad! Hello, baby girl. How do I look? Look effortless. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. Don't worry, I'm going to treat it for free. You will, won't you? Yeah, <laughs> and you'll be answering... Daddy doctor. Yay! <laughs> my doctor. You treat me when I get old and my knees get weak, right? Yes. For free? Yes. Good. You shouldn't be drinking this. Too much sugar for you, so I'll drink it for you. Questions on my mind, I need some answers. Can you tell me? I want to know. I can no longer handle the lies, it's hurting me deeper than you'll ever know. I'm at the point where every answer. Why did you do this to me? You knew all this and the risk associated with it, and yet you went ahead to marry my mother. Is this the price I have to pay? What's the point of living now when your dreams are gonna die? Like a flower in the sun and the vapor in the wind, preparing for the end when you're barely getting started. Apart. This is from a broken heart. Hello. Hello, Bella. So, how are you, Karen? I'm fine, Bella. Are you sure you're fine? Yes, I'm fine, Bella. Then, why is your voice saying otherwise? Did you have a fight with your dad? Bella, can we not talk about this? I'm calling you so you can send your house address to me again. I lost the former one I copied down in school. Okay, I hope there's no problem. Like I said, Bella, I'm fine. I want to come over to your house tomorrow. Okay, fine then. Girl? Karen! Baby girl? Baby girl? Karen? Karen! So, how did he go? Did you confront him? Yes, I did. You know, it's funny how one minute you are living the life you were always wanted. The 
next minute, someone else tells you it's about to end. What is the point of life? Why are we here in the first place? How does God even justify death? All you ask is the knowledge of the truth. I've come to know. Young lady, I overheard your voice from the kitchen. You speak with so much bitterness in your heart. Those words are heavy. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, dear. I speak the words I speak because I am embittered. I have sickle cell disease. And in no time, I am going to die. Oh, oh dear. I am so sorry, dear. But let's not stop holding out hope. Not all sicklers end in fatality, okay? Don't make me feel any better, ma'am. Bella told me you're a lawyer. Yes, dear, I am a lawyer. I want to sue my father for bringing me into this world to suffer and die prematurely. Don't say that, darling. This is not the right way to go about this. Can you help me if I cannot afford legal fees? Sweetheart, the truth is I don't know any lawyer that would like to handle this. I want a lawyer, not a counselor. <sighs> Honey, you cannot throw your daddy to the wolves just because of an error done in the past. All I want is justice. <sighs> this is a rare case you're bringing to my table, young lady. Moreover, this is not a crime. It is not a crime. And why is that? Because it is out of character for a daughter to sue her father. <sighs> Honey, look. I need you to understand the letter of the law on this. You can only sue your father on grounds such as alienation of affection, abuse, lack of parental support, you know, not, not... And why can the law allow me fight my case? My father has done so much to me. Darling, I am sorry. I am so, so sorry. In legal parlance, this is what we call an act of God. Okay.
I knew it. I knew you wouldn't help me. And you're acting as if you care. Oh dear. Come on. I do care. I just need you to forgive your father. You carrying a lot of grudge in you and it is not right. It is not good. Hmm? Forgive him. Hmm? It sounds so easy. Doesn't it? Let her go. It's okay. Let her go. Let her go. She's already distraught. Kimo. I understand her very well. But she has to understand that this is not the right way to go about it. Okay? Don't waste it. She'll be fine. <sighs> hey, baby girl, where have you... Karen, where have you been? Karen! Okay. <sighs> Kids. Hey, baby girl. Why is your face like this? Are you okay? Hmm? Mom. Mm -hmm. Please, is there any way you can help my friend? Hmm. I am afraid no. Why? Because what she wants can't happen. Hmm? She's going overboard. But... Is there any way sickle cell disease can be cured? Yes. Actually, yes. There is something called bone marrow transplant. They can try it. I believe it will work. It would. Mom, can yes, we baby. visit them? Maybe tell her dad or something. That's a very good idea. Moreover, I'm sure the daddy already knows about it. But we will go, if that will make you happy. <laughs> That's my baby girl. Thanks, mom. Oh, anything for you. And don't you ever tell me that I don't love you. You know I love you, right? Give your mommy a peck. <laughs> so what are you watching? So, who are you and what can I do for you? My name is Bella Sibo. I'm Karen's friend. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I am Barista Amaka Sibo. Okay. Bella's me. Please, please sit. So, to what do I owe the honor of your visit? Providence. Your daughter came by some days ago asking that I sue her father for bringing her into this world to suffer and die prematurely. Well, of course, I told her things are not done that way. <sighs> Jesus Christ. She said that? Yes, she did. <sighs> I'm tired. Honestly, I'm just, just exhausted. Just take things easy. See, I know raising a child can be very daunting. Not to talk of one with her condition. I, no, I feel guilty, you know? I feel totally guilty. I totally understand her plight, you know, but the deed has already been done. And I just, I'm full of regret. I'm full of regret. Um, if I may ask, have you tried blood stem cell and um, bone marrow transplant? Yeah. I heard they work. Yeah, we've tried that. We just didn't find the right donor. <coughs> Baby girl! Baby girl!
Maybe just then I might feel alright. So many questions on my mind, I need some answers. Can you tell me? I wanna know. I can no longer handle the lies. It's hurting me deeper than you'll ever know. I'm at the point where every answer matters. Can you tell me I need to know? I have to be honest with you. Your daughter's condition has deteriorated so much. But the good thing is, we found a match for her out of the country. And we are trying every possible best to push her up the list. You know, these things don't come easy. But our organization will make sure everything comes to pass, okay? You shouldn't bother. The most important thing is that we've gotten a match and the problem is half solved. You can rest assured, Mr. Yumi, that everything will be okay. The earlier we go about this, the faster your daughter comes back to her normal life. All is well. <clears throat> See, I know how you feel. I know right now you feel like your joy of fatherhood is about to be cut short. Seriously, I mean... <sighs> I've just become a worried version of my old self, you know? I mean, what's there to live for? What's there to live for, in all honesty? Are you giving up right now? <sighs> Come on, Yomi. This is the real world. You get what you can take. I need a miracle, because I'm beginning to lose it. I mean, I can't lose my only daughter. But you're not losing her. She's all I've got. It's bad enough saying that parenthood is hard, but taking care of a, a child as fragile as mine. I mean, seriously, I know how you feel. Believe me. But trust me, everything will be all right. Just take it easy, OK? Fatherhood is full of joys that I wouldn't have felt otherwise, you know? The first time I saw her smile, oh my God. That made me happy for a very, very long time. And she's always been musical, you know? Really? Yeah. Like she would come up with, she would write these songs and it was so interesting seeing the lines she would come up with, you know, the lyrics, you know? And she would play the keyboard, she was so good. She is, is so talented. Fatherhood is a wonderful part of life. It's just, I don't want to lose that. It is. See you, man. Karen is here to stay. She is not going anywhere. She will live for you. Do you understand? Just believe, okay? And concentrate on the bone marrow transplant, because I believe it will work. Pray so. It's real. Just have faith. I hope so. Thank you, Lord, for you are always in control. We trust your eternal nature to be revealed in the body of the sick. 
please help us in these times to, to rely only on your power. Please help her fight this fight. Please help her fight this fight and win. Please. Yomi, just be strong, okay? Karen is a very strong girl. And I'm sure she will come out very fine, okay? Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hey, baby girl. Hope you're fine. Yes, Daddy. So what are you going to get for your bestie on our way back from the States? I want her back in one piece. Aww. That's all I want. She's coming back. <laughs> I'll miss you, Karen. I'll miss you too. Send me well to our classmates. I will. I'll miss you all. <laughs> yeah. I'll miss you too. Yeah, we'll miss everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Well? Mine wasn't a sad story after all. Why? Because I defeated death. This is Karen now. Hale and hearty. Strong and not frail again. Thank goodness. Dreams are gone. 